This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. We should mention uh, on the June 6th raw Cena would be drafted to raw Batista, who was the world champion is drafted to SmackDown. So the title switch with them. So now WWE has the WWE or raw has the WWE title and SmackDown has the world title. Um, I'm sure we'll talk about it another time, but what did you think of the old switcheroo of let's get Cena off SmackDown and on to raw? Was that decision prompted by the news that SmackDown was moving to a new night? Or what was the rationale in, in, in making that switch? The rationale was now that Cena was made to be able to take it to the next level and take him over to Raw and get him on Raw. It was a way to take both talent, uh, Cena and Batista, and now you guys are anointed. Now let's let's go and start on fresh new ground. Um I think that both sides were pretty damn, damn happy. It's an even swap. It wasn't like, oh, fuck, we lost Cena. Or, oh, fuck, we lost Batista. It was, oh, hey, man, new, new canvas to paint on. Right. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, you said something there, and maybe it's just a cliche that everybody uses, us included. You said it helped get Cena to the next level. In your mind, I'm not saying in Vince's mind, but in your mind, in 05, Raw was still the A show? Uh, I think, you know, Raw is always going to be the... the Flagship. The flagship. There you go. So, yeah, I think that that was a big deal. However, at the same time, being on network television, that does make a difference. And UPS, small as it may have been, was still network TV. I love, I, I know you meant UPN, but it tickles me that it was UPS the way you said it, uh, on a scale of one to 10, where do you rate uh, judgment day? Oh, five, uh, about a six. Yeah. I might go a, a, a little higher than that just because I enjoyed M and M. I thought the, uh, the Kurt angle Booker T match was really well done. I really enjoyed a and uh, Eddie and Ray. And then the main event, I mean, I'm, I might go like eight on this. I really thought this was a good pay-per-view, a bit of a sleeper show, if you will. Yeah. I just, you know, it, it was a lot of rebuilding for me and a lot of new and, and not as much, not as much story as I would have liked. We, uh, Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.